Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading for week commencing 5th of November 2018 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you're well Virgo. So here are the cards. We have the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Empress, the Emperor and the Sun. And I've also pulled two Archangel Oracle cards for further clarification. So I'm going to start with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords together. So the Nine of Swords can be about deep-seated worry, about stress, about pressure. Um, you feel that, um, you might feel that everybody's got it in for you. Uh, it's a state of negativity. You're not sleeping well at night. But you, I mean, you see the moon here in the, um, in the window, the moon here. You have intuition um, right now that can get you out of this mindset. You have the answers within you to get you out of this mindset. And you see the swords. The swords are represent truth and clarity, but this lady is so preoccupied with her thoughts, her worries, her concerns. Um, she's in a negative state of mind. She's got her arms, um, you know, folded. She doesn't feel... Uh, She's in control of a situation and yeah, you know, you've got truth and clarity all around you. So with the moon and the, the sword energy, what I'm, I'm saying is that this, this is saying you have the answers within you. You know the truth of the situation, you know the truth of the situation and you know what you need to do, Virgo. You know what you need to do, the answers come from within. You see the owl? There's a wisdom within you that you can get yourself out of this situation at any point in time. And it is about changing that mindset and pushing forward to getting rid of this negative state. And that is exactly what the Ten of Swords is saying. And the Ten of Swords saying, is saying that this change comes from deep within you. You can create this ending to whatever negative situation, stressful situation, um... You know, and as I say, I mean, you may have encountered obstacles, you may have had problems with a job, it might well be um, not getting that promotion, it might well be difficulties with relationships at work, it could be difficult personal relationships or friendships or wider groups, whatever it is, um, know that it's ending and you have the power, you have the foresight and the wisdom to end it. You can end this state of mind. You just have to change that mindset. And I know, I understand that it's not easy. Um, and I understand that there are some very, very difficult pressures on certain people. I do read comments a lot. I do reply to as many people as possible. So I understand that some of you have been through a very difficult time. And this is a difficult time. This is a difficult journey. Um, you know, I mean, it, you know, it can talk about being stabbed in the back. It can talk about betrayal. It can talk about deceit. Um, all those things that may well have affected you. Uh, whatever it is, though, know that it is, can be over. You can finish it. You can finish it. You can take control and finish it. And you've got the answers to do that. And this is about taking control. Because after a 10 comes a new beginning. And if you do take control, if you deal with a situation and stop letting it affect you and think, you know, I'm going to move on from this situation because it doesn't serve me anymore, it's old baggage. If you get rid of the baggage and the negative mindset, you allow a new beginning to come to you, a new phase of your life. And it has amazing potential. You see, the, the wand is, is a sign of potential, it's a sign of opportunity. It could be communication, it could be that new job that you've been hoping for. It could be, um, you know, uh, moving on new new relationships. It can be about, uh, you know, new business ventures. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, as I say, there is real potential here. But you need to change that mindset in order to deliver it. You need to look up and see the truth that the swords are telling you about. And then once you see the truth, you can deal with it and move on. And there's no point hiding from the situation. There's no point in, in dancing around a situation that's making you feel upset. You need to deal with it. Take action. This is a card of taking action and also enjoying a new beginning. And you see the hands? You're, this, is, 
divinely guided. This is divinely given to you after a period of difficulty. This is your award. This is your award waiting for you, Virgo. And then you have the Empress and the Emperor. So not only do you have the power to shape, to create a new beginning, which is what the Empress is all about, you have the power to shape your world and build it, you know, and create something really successful for yourself. So maybe it is a business venture, but it can be similarly about relationships. I mean, this the Empress is more about successful relationships, the Emperor is more about kind of like success in business, finances, that type of thing. But also, it's a time of, of birth, um, so uh, the, the Empress uh, represents birth, she's Mother Earth, she represents fertility, and it talks about nurturing, and it could well be this idea, you may well have a new idea to move your life on. This could be a new idea that you take action on um, to make your life better and get yourself out of this situation. And the Empress is about nurturing that idea, making it grow, giving it the foundations to grow, survive and get strong. And then the Emperor, you know, steps in and creates uh, and makes it a reality. He makes it a reality, a success, um, real kind of like shaping energies, but massively powerful energies, Virgo. These are massively powerful energies. This can also talk about the uh, the bond of a perfect union, of um, a strong and powerful union. And maybe you have somebody who's supporting you through your journey and, you know, maybe you need to give them attention, listen to them because your union, this is nobody, I mean, between the Empress and the Emperor, you, you can't overcome any obstacles, you know, they can overcome anything. The Empress and the Emperor together as energies can overcome anything. Um, and there's, there's a sense of achievement here. This is about achievement. This is about taking control of your life. This is about seeing opportunities. This is about being open to new ideas. Um, this is about creativity. And this really is about, yeah, achieving, a, a massive achievement. So whatever is going on in this situation with the Ace of Wands, know that it has real potential, real potential in the long term for you. And I kind of feel that the energies, um, the, the energies, I mean, the, the sun is about abundance. It's about, it can be about, certainly with the, with the Empress, it can be about birth. It can be about babies. It can be about um, family. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, it bodes well. This is a good luck card. This is a card of good luck, good fortune, success. Um, happier times ahead, Virgo. Happier times ahead after a period of discontent. You see how the journey goes. You know, you move from a negative state to something, the most positive card in the tarot deck. Um, and some of the most powerful energies in the tarot deck. So, as I say, I mean, this is real potential for you. You've got the foundations to start moving forward this week. So look for potential, look for opportunities. If you haven't taken action on this situation, whether it's personal or business or financial or wider friends, take action. Start looking to take action this week um, because this is a real turning point for you. Um... So let's have a look at the Archangel Oracle cards. So, patience. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realise. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So, Archangel Jophiel, patience. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realise. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So maybe things are going behind, behind the scenes, which is why the moon is there. Um, because maybe there is divine blessings um, that are going on behind the scenes for you to give you this new beginning, Virgo, but you need to make the effort as well. And it is talking about patience, you know, don't lose hope, don't lose faith. Um, it is talking about nurturing, nurturing whatever this new beginning, this new phase of your life could be, because it could be something great for you. And comfort. Archangel Azrael, 
I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So it's comfort, Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. And that's perfect. You need to heal. This is about healing as well. This is about healing too. So heal, but move forward, Virgo, and start taking action. Because by taking action, that's how you heal and move forward from a situation. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's an amazing month for you. Amazing week for you, I should say. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Bye.